Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you my apartment. I would consider my style modern, and I also am very much a minimalist. I also love black, so like touches of black and gold. Those are kind of my accent colors. I'm going to make sure that I list everything that I mention, and I'm going to organize it all in the description bar. Let's get into it. When you first walk in, you have the kitchen to the left. This is a two bedroom, two bath. And we have a closet, which is kind of like a utility closet, which I will also get into. First, let's get into the kitchen. Let's just dive in and take a look inside my fridge. Clearly, I love to have different drink options. I actually have to go food shopping. We've got our condiments, water, energy drinks. I have these clear bins on top with some snacks, bread, and behind are like protein bars, nuts, granola. In this cupboard, I keep my spices. I'm a huge fan of acrylic storage solutions. We have these really pretty salt and pepper shakers. I love that dispenser for oil. We have some olive oil. This is my little pantry. I like to keep this as organized as possible or else it will get very cluttered very quickly both the pan and the pot are from our place I absolutely love their pots and pans this is my second one from our place and it's so easy to clean I love this color it just goes perfectly with my kitchen since I have the Nespresso right over here I just keep some pods in this drawer they sell a ton of organizers they even sell organizers for the pods that you can put underneath the machine but I prefer having them hidden in the drawer down here this is kind of a miscellaneous random cupboard I have my Vitamix batteries and this really cool battery organizer some ziploc bags a steamer just like random appliances live in this guy this is kind of funny to me but i keep my hookah above the stove we have my medicine cabinets epi pens back there i have all types of vitamins bandages ointments you name it i probably have it we're moving on to this side this is my garbage can i've had this simple human trash can for two or three years now i just love having the no hands option when i am cooking and i want to throw something out and my hands are like wet or full of something i don't have to actually touch the trash can i was thinking of getting a rectangular white trash can in this area but if it ain't broken don't fix it why spend money when this one works perfectly fine i never thought i would be the person to rely on a dishwasher but i am now that person <laughs> over on this side i have my toaster oven some white cutting boards i love that these match the countertop and then i just have my utensils i try to keep it black wooden gold and in this main cupboard i have my cups and my plates wine glasses mugs coasters and i love these black solo cups they're disposable cups i also love that you could get the shot glass this too. These plates which are my favorite are from our place which is where I got my pot and pan. We have these black plates which are super cheap and super convenient. The bowls and these plates are from Target. They're like 75 cents each. I think they're for like college students. Super convenient and really inexpensive. We have some straws and then up at the top very random but I keep my Christmas and Halloween decorations which I try to keep minimal. That's where they live because why not? When I'm like washing dishes or cooking or doing anything in the kitchen, I prop my phone up there. I'll watch YouTube. I'll take a FaceTime call. I love having these like phone holders everywhere. I have this cute marble tray that just holds some hand soap as well as my scrub mommy and this extremely beautiful, very large candle from Veluspa. Down here, I have all of my cleaning products. Pretty much keep the products that I use the most up at the forefront and I'm just trying to get through the products before I think of a new solution to organize these. Maybe like a two-tiered Lazy Susan or something with drawers I don't know yet for now it works this drawer holds my utensils love these gold ones from Amazon measuring cups and all that good stuff in here and to the right we have this miscellaneous drawer which I keep my favorite gum a lighter a room spray my scissor some sharpies box cutter candle wick trimmer random miscellaneous drawer down here we have some more kitchen necessities as you can tell I don't have an official dining room but I do use this little bar area to eat especially for breakfast it's really convenient so I have these really pretty bar stools they sell them on overstock as well as Wayfair so I tried to keep the counter space clear just so that I can eat there and then I have this really beautiful floor length mirror that I actually got on Wayfair it was a gift for my mom I like having this like mixed metals moment where it's like silver and gold I feel like if I would have done a gold mirror it just would have been too much to like matchy matchy coming over here we have the TV I always get so many questions on these cabinets they're actually 
actually shoe cabinets. I got them from Wayfair. Here I have my most worn daily sneakers. These cabinets are so convenient to hold your everyday shoes and I love that it's just neat, tucked away. They do have something similar at Ikea, but I like these better because they're slimmer and they hold more. I've used one of these for like cables. You can get creative with it, but I love storing my everyday shoes here. I love that this apartment has three separate AC slash heating units. I actually mounted the controller onto the wall just so that I know where it's at at all times. It makes it so easy to find. This apartment also has a balcony, which is the first time that I've ever had a balcony. I actually put this flooring down myself. I do want to add a plant out here, maybe some lights once it gets warmer. But when I moved in, I was focusing so much on the actual apartment that I didn't show too much love to the balcony. But honestly, putting these floor pieces down made the world of a difference. They're from Ikea. They're kind of hard to find. They're always selling out. I actually had to get these from Florida, but it doesn't feel weird to step on. And it looks so much better than the actual floor. This is actually the latest addition to my apartment. It's this beautiful bar cart from Wayfair. I poured my liquor into these really pretty decanters. We have the glasses, an ice bucket, some champagne. And then next to it, I have this really pretty plants, which is also from Wayfair. It is artificial and she's really, really large, which I love for this space because it really fills up this corner. Then we have my couch. I've had this couch for over two years and my favorite thing about the couch, besides it being sturdy but comfy, I love that it's so easy to clean. So this is the pebble linen material from Interior Define. They don't have this exact Toby style couch, but they still do have this material and it is extremely easy to clean. You can literally drop like chocolate on it and wipe it away with a little bit of warm water and a tiny bit of like Dawn dish soap and it's gone. It does not stain, which I love. So it's perfect for kids, pets. I have neither. <laughs> Sometimes I will sit here and eat. I'll bring out like this little small, I call it my TV dinner table. It's just like a foldable table. I'll bring it out here and eat and sometimes some spills happen and it is just extremely easy to clean. 10 out of 10 recommend Interior Define if you're in the market for a new couch. And then to the right, I have this cute little table and this is from World Market. I love the touch of gold with the marble and I have this faux plant. I brought it from the old apartment, the table as well, and a room spray by Zara. I love that this space gets so much lighting. The sun just comes in so beautifully, especially during the warmer months. That's really what drew me to this apartment are the windows. Windows. So back to this area, we just have an intercom. This closet I call my utility closet. At the top I just have like my most used tools, my drill. I have these storage cubes which I really love. They're from Amazon. They do have labels on the side. Really pretty and great at hiding things. And in there I just keep party supplies. I have some books, some games, just like the most random things. My college diploma. I got a bachelor's from Hunter College. Shout out to Hunter. I have my baby which is my Dyson. I have the outsize model which has a larger bin and I did get this mounted but I can charge it while it's docking which is so convenient. To the right here I have my duster and a random dustpan and I love these command hooks. You just use the adhesive that it comes with and you pretty much just stick it onto the wall. I have a Bissell machine here that I use to clean my couch. My mop which is an O-Cedar mop. I love this thing. I've tried so many different mops and I just always go back to using a traditional one. Like all those spray mops are cool but I don't feel like they really clean. I bought two buckets of paint to do touch-ups in the apartment. I also have a ladder here and a small step ladder, a little step stool because team shorty over here, five foot one. I have this bag hanging here which actually holds more bags. Never know when you need like a birthday bag, a tote bag, an errand bag. I have a bag of bags. Steam mop, foam roller. This is extra flooring for outside from Ikea. Swiffer which is also attached to the wall and my router is just back there. This is the first bathroom. They both are pretty much identical. Love this clear Kleenex tissue box situation. So I get the paper towels from Kleenex from Target and then the acrylic containers from Amazon, of course, will be linked down below. Face wash, hand soap, a small little random faux leaf from Target. As you can tell, I love all things clear, easy to clean, and they just look very minimal, which I love. Of course, it's color coordinated, but we have random things like lash shampoo, perfume, air freshener, more perfume, deodorant, moisturizers, cleansers, medicine cabinet it but make it cute. I just store some extra toilet paper here, tampons, pads, lotion, Clorox wipes, Epsom salt, and a facial steamer. And then we have some more storage down here which I also have like random things like face towels, extra soap, Vaseline, my shower curtain, the hook as well as the liner are all from Amazon. We have these hooks which
which I just have an exfoliating brush, loofah, gloves, and some more shower essentials. This is the shower. Let's move on to the glam room. Love that this room has its own closet. Pretty much all of this is to go do makeup and travel. So like my travel, makeup artist chair, my light. I keep like a little luggage and a makeup kit all on top of each other for like easy travel purposes. I have my two away luggages tucked away because I don't really use my suitcases that often and it just fit perfectly here. And those bins is just like the most random things. Like one of them has cables, the other one has Dyson attachments. I just like having them neatly tucked away. These two lights right here I use when I record my YouTube videos. They're my background lights. I like having easy access to them so that when I film, I can just grab them, plug them in. So this is pretty much my YouTube background. Is this beautiful buffet table. I love that it's black with the gold accents. These two pieces of artwork I had in my old apartment above my couch and I really love them in here because it just ties in all of the colors. Again, the black and the neutral tones. I debated hanging them up but I kind of just like them resting here. A Tom Ford book and an architectural digest book and on top just some really pretty decor. All three pieces are actually from Target. I love me some Target. I got this jewelry stand at the container store but they also have it on Amazon and it also comes in gold. I love that it holds rings, earrings, bracelets, and necklaces. It's kind of hard to find a jewelry stand that does all of them and I have the most necklaces so I love that it's nice and tall because I can just hang my longer necklaces in the back. In this first jar I keep some paper and where I keep all of my receipts. The bottom jar just holds some extra hand soaps, room sprays from Bath and Body Works, candles, wall plugins. My most used hair products like oils, serums, and hairsprays are in this one. In this container I have bath oils, shower gels, so anytime I'm running low on something I'll pretty much just shop my stash. Love having them separated in these clear bins which I get on Amazon. This one holds more body care. This one has shampoos, conditioners, scalp scrubs, deodorant, just like anything extra. Again I love that this piece is so functional. You can use it for any type of storage. You can actually remove the shelf or move it depending on how high you want it. Love that I can fit my taller products on the bottom and then up here I just have hair dye and some random extensions from Bellamy. On the chair I just have my everyday bag which is my Goyard tote. I have a video all about what's in that bag, but I just have it here for like easy access. When I'm running out the door, this is the bag that I grab because it's just easy to wear. But if I want to put it away, I'll just put it in the closet on one of those acrylic hangers. I love bookcases because you can use them for storage, but also for like display purposes. I have my purses here. On this shelf, I have my Dyson Airwrap, my Uggs, and some winter boots down at the bottom. That is the bookcase. So I wanted a work table that I can use for recording videos. I wanted something that could fit in this space that wasn't going to be too much for the room. This beautiful acrylic table. I love the look of it, but also it's really wide, which is perfect for when I'm filming because I can have my laptop here and have all my products. And I'm sitting right in front of the window when I'm filming, so I get that daylight. I just have my printer up on here. And in this corner, my Bose speaker, this faux plant, also from Target, and another one of those phone stands. I love the clear acrylic phone stand on top of the clear table it just does something for me so I do prefer using natural lighting for my videos but I do have a ring light with my camera I use a Canon 80D my lens is a Sigma 1.8 I have my microphone on top and it's just sitting on top of this tripod if you want to watch the makeup collection video I'll link it down below I mainly keep the makeup that I use on my clients in here but I also keep like my flat irons in here as well as my cables and like chargers and all of my tech stuff also lives in these drawers because it's just convenient and why not? I just have some daily skincare, some cotton pads. All of my beauty blenders are black, which I love. All of the jars are from Ikea as well as the tabletop. I recently switched out the bulbs for this vanity, which is an Impressions Vanity Glam Pro. Switched to these bulbs from Home Depot and Game Changer. It no longer makes that weird buzzing noise. More makeup here on top in these clear storage containers, which they no longer make, which really, really sucks because they're my favorite. I just love having the easy access to the products that I love the most. Some more brushes, a charger, and this mirror which I also get a ton of questions on. It's called a Fanity. Actually is a fan and a mirror and a light in one. I cut the cord so it no longer does the fan or the light but I just love the height because I can sit comfortably and look into this mirror and do my makeup. I keep my sunglasses in here, scrunchies, hair ties, and all that jazz in there and then I wanted to show you guys this. So I have my Dyson blow dryer here. I love this mount that I got on Amazon for this because I can easily 
easily grab it when I need it. And a random little trash can here, which is clutch for when I'm doing makeup. So that is the glam room slash makeup room. And lastly, we have my bedroom, which I love. I recently changed the layout of the room and it just works so much better for me. The bed frame I got from a company called Doma Furniture. They are located in Long Island. This has to be hands down my favorite comforter that I've ever found. It's from Ugg and it is so comfy. I'm a very hot sleeper and this one is perfect for me. Love the look of a chopped pillow. The inserts are from Ikea, super inexpensive, and the covers are from Amazon. Kind of hides your sleeping pillows and it gives it a little bit more texture. If you really want to get crazy, you can add more pillows in front of it, but I feel like that's just too much when I want to get to bed. For me, this is enough. And again, I like that simple minimalist look. I have this really pretty chunky knit throw from the brand Casa Luna from Target. Night scents were a little pricey, but I love that they're real marble. And I kept the styling to a minimum just because there's a lot going on in here and I don't want it to look too much. I love that this night scent has not only the drawer but also the shelf. I just have these little cubes from Target that you can use to store extra sheets or pretty much anything. Slippers, whatever you'd like. I do have my pellets on here. During quarantine, I was really going through it. I was just struggling both mentally and physically and this thing changed my life. I know that sounds so dramatic. I'm going to be making a Peloton video very soon so I can really go in depth on my thoughts and I know it isn't very feng shui of me but I do have a TV in my bedroom. Putting on TV to go to sleep for me is high key because I fall asleep right away if anything is playing especially a movie kind of funny though about having two TVs on one wall is sometimes when you turn on the one in the living room this one will turn on so on this side of the bed we have my dresser which is from Ikea this is the mom dresser I love the simple look I love that it doesn't have any handles or pulls on it it's just very very simple and sleek and very wide which is really nice fits a lot and you can even use like dividers inside to fit even more which is what I plan on doing soon I'm not going to show you each jar but I want you to guess what my favorite color to wear is. Tell me you're from New York without telling me you're from New York. <laughs> Recently just uploaded a video all on my perfumes. You guys go crazy for these trays. I love them too, but unfortunately they are no longer available. I got them on Overstock and I was able to score the last two, which is crazy. I've had them for over two years. I actually just used to use one tray for perfume and the other for decor in my last apartment, but this works out perfectly because clearly my collection has grown. I love the look of these linen curtains and I also have them pretty high up on this tension rod. I keep the curtains closed one because I'm a light sleeper and the street lights will bother me when I'm sleeping so I do need like a thicker curtain when I didn't have curtains in here I would wake up at like 4 a.m. because the sun would like beam inside but also for my perfumes I like to keep my babies protected there is still a little bit of light coming in and hitting them which isn't good for them I already know that but it is what it is I try to get through my perfumes as quickly as I can and just like swap them out for something else all of my jars are being used up and I don't really have space for them anywhere else over here on this corner I have this beautiful faux plant that I actually got on Amazon. I love this birds of paradise plant. It looks real. I'm not doing real plants because one, I suck and two, because I'm scared of bugs. Even the tiniest bug, I freak out. So we're just doing faux plants and she lives inside this really pretty planter that's nice and tall. To the left of the Peloton is my main closet. So this is where I keep most of my like daily wear. Up at the top, I have more of those Amazon bins. A lot of the items that live in there are seasonal. Matching hangers are a must as well as these sneaker boxes from the container store. They do have a drop front, which is really convenient for easy access to your shoes. It keeps them dust free. 10 out of 10 recommend those. And then on the other side is this closet, which is my coat closet. I keep my jackets, my coats. I use that space for storage for like summer bags and travel bags and different knickknacks <laughs> that are like summer related. This is something that I recently did, which is to add these clear hangers, which I use for my hat. I love that I can see my hats. They're out of the way. They're not getting squished. It just reminds me that I have them so that I can actually wear them. So I keep my hats here hung up. I recently switched to this hamper, which I got at Target, and I love it because it has a lid. It's simple. It fits perfectly in this space, and it's very large. So it fits a ton of clothes and even has a removable liner slash bag. And last but not least is the second bathroom, which looks pretty identical to the other one. I also keep my towels in this bathroom just so that the outside bathroom isn't like cluttered with this. I love that this hanger is over the door. The less holes the better. I am renting. I try to keep this bathroom as similar as possible to the other one. So that completes the apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoy taking a deeper look into my space. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the description bar. Everything is going to be there. I got you. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.